Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Yuri Averbach and Alexei Sutin. This game was played in Moscow in 1950. Averbach had white pieces and he started with e4. c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to e2, knight to c6, d4. c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, d6, bishop to g5, the Richter Rausa variation. e6, queen to d2, intending to castle queen side. a6, preparing the pawn storm. Averbach castled queen side. h6, bishop to f4, bishop to d7, bishop to g3, bishop to e7, bishop to e2, black to move. Black was not in a hurry to castle. b5 was played. White to move. Averbach played bishop takes on d6. b4, let's take it back. If bishop takes on d6, then knight takes on c6, and after bishop takes knight, queen takes on d6. White stands better, back to our game. So Sutin played b4, attacking the knight. Knight takes on c6, bishop takes knight, bishop takes on e7, queen takes on e7, queen to d6, queen to b7. White to move. It looks like that black is doing well. Once the knight goes to a safe spot, then black will take the pawn on e4. Let's put these moves on the board. If knight to b1, then knight takes on e4. So, what is the solution? What would you do? In this position, Averbach played this very beautiful killer move. Knight to d5, sending the knight into the fire. e takes on d5, e takes on d5, bishop to d7, rook from h to e1, king to d8, bishop to f3, rook to e8, queen to g3, g5, but now the pawn is no longer defending the knight on f6, so the queen returned to d6. Attacking the knight, knight to g8, rook takes rook, check, king takes rook, rook to e1, check, king to d8, queen to f8, check, king to c7. Why to move? What now? How would you continue? Should white take the pawn on f7? Or maybe there is a better move. Averbach decided to transpose to a winning endgame. So, he played d6 first, check. King to b6, and now queen takes rook. Queen takes queen, bishop takes queen. White has the winning position, and the rest is just the cleanup operation. So let's see what happened in the rest of the game. King to c5, bishop to b7, a5, rook to e5, check, king to b6. If king takes on d6, then rook takes on a5. So we have king to b6, bishop to d5, knight to f6, bishop takes on f7, knight to g4, rook to e7, King to c6, attacking the pawn. How would you defend the pawn? What would you do? White played the move and black resigned. And the move is bishop to e6. Sutin resigned. If king takes pawn, then bishop takes on d7. And after king takes rook, bishop takes knight. And I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.